Hey guys, welcome back to Home Built, and today we're going to have a look at the tuning on the 680 and see if we can actually get it running better, because at the moment it's running like a pig. All right, uh, today I actually have Graham here. Graham is uh, uh, a mate of mine, you might have seen a couple of the uh, reviews I did on a Ferrari he had and a, an old Alpha. Um, I've got him in today because Neither of us are experts, but uh, Graham has a uh, quite a bit of experience with uh, tuning old Webers, and uh, and <laughs> we, we, we're going to give it a go anyway, and see if we can actually get this thing running a bit better. So, uh, see what happens. Let's have a look. All right. So as you saw, uh, I did get this running, get it running up and down the street, but uh, I've been uh, moving it here out of the garage a little bit, and it's actually now it's, it's it's struggling to move. I think it's running on about four cylinders. I'm pretty sure the spark plugs are pretty much all fouled, so they're uh, just, it's not sparking, it's just running horribly. So um, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna pull all the spark plugs and uh, and just clean them, check them, gap them, and, uh, and put them in, put them back in. So, I was trying to start it the other day and it wasn't starting, it was or starting and running absolutely horribly. And you can see here, um, this is plug number three. This is the worst one. This is, uh, it's very black. It's uh, very carboned up. Uh, a lot of the others were, were quite wet, I think, because I was just cranking it, trying to start it. It wouldn't actually start. So um, anyway, we've got to clean these and gap them and then put them back in and uh, make sure this is right and just work our way through all the processes. They look much better. All right, nicely clean and gap, gap plugs. Um, I was trying to start on the weekend and I had left the immobilizer on, the 123 uh, ignition distributor. I've turned that off now, so hopefully it should start and fingers crossed at least run a bit. Let's see how After a bit of playing around, uh, we managed to get it running again. Still running badly. So now it's time to start um, delving a little bit deeper into this. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do to um, start troubleshooting this is go through, set up the basics, and uh, we're gonna check the float levels on all three of these, make sure they're nice and even and set where we want them. So um, that's the first job. So we just went through then and we uh, tested the float level heights. Um, this is actually a tool that Graham uh, follows a guy, Keith Franks, uh, who- Side Central. From Side Draft Central, apparently. Um, this is a tool he came up with. It's very simple. It's a little piece of acrylic, um, the clear acrylic that's been polished up, and you slide it down through, you take out a jet, slide it down through the jets, and as soon as the tip touches the, the petrol, um, you can see the color change through the top and it's just got a little slide on it and so you're sliding it in and then as soon as it changes color you can measure that distance that is the, the float bowl height and you can check all of the carbs at the different heights very simple very smart idea I like it
one last thing I've done is uh, I've, I've now capped off the fuel fuel line. Uh, basically, I'm uh, I'm no longer to run a return line to the uh, back to the tank. Uh, I'm just going to use uh, just narrowing out that it could be a fuel pressure issue. I don't think it is. Uh, I'm also going to use that return line for something else coming up later. I'll run through that later, but uh, moving on. All right, as you saw, we got it running terribly. Uh, we uh, using um, just a little digital thermometer on each of the um, exhausts, um, and they're all over the shop. There are some that are running really cool, meaning it's running really rich, and there's others that are running really hot, meaning it's really lean. They're all over the place, and it's a mix of each. It's not like one carby, so two cylinders are running hot and two are running cold. It's all over the place. So uh, we're going to go through and try and colour tune the car again. Uh, we've connected the colour tune up to one of the cylinders that we felt it was running a bit better than the others. So uh, we're starting with that as a, uh, a base point and we'll, um, we'll see if we can move forward and backward from there. Okay, so we're still trying to chase things down and we pulled the OER carbs apart more just to see how they work and what actually uh, what the adjustments actually do. We, um, as you can see here, we've got the, uh, this is the, the lid upside down, this is the, uh, the float, and by adjusting that float level, what you're doing is you're adjusting these two um, stands here, up and down, so you're adjusting the, the pivot, the, uh, the, the outside of the pivot, so winding it in will raise the float level, and winding it out will lower the float level. So that's what we've, uh, we've got here. And we'll just go and show you what's inside the, uh, the carby itself. So this is the inside of the, uh, the carby. You can see here, this is the accelerator pump. And we actually have the ability to adjust the level of the, uh, the accelerator pump by uh, a screw on the top. And that just adjusts the travel of the pump itself. So holding it down, you get either full travel or up you get get no travel so that's just uh, for those of you who are looking for any information because there seems to be not a lot of information online about OER carbs that just gives you a bit of an idea of what is going on inside uh, the carby for those who really want to nerd out on uh, OER carbs Alright, that has been several hours of playing around now, going backwards and forwards with different jets and different, uh, just, just trying to get this thing to, to drive better and idle nicer. And um, I did, in the end, what I should have done at the start was I actually rang um, the uh, guy, Stuart Wilkins, who I got this, uh, this whole setup from. He's, a, uh, he's the sort of local rally expert, been doing this for years and knows these things in and out. Um, and yes, the, um, I'm, he gave me a list of all the jets. He's actually sending me out all of the correct jets. Uh, I need to change pretty much everything in them. All, all of the jets, the air correctors, the, uh, the main jets, the idle jets. Um, and, uh, and just try and get this running a little bit better. Um, so uh, I'm going to be waiting on them. They'll come through on Friday. I did learn a few things. We did set the, um, the float ball heights correctly. So that, that is a good thing that uh, we've done that. And... Uh, um, move forward on that so uh, we'll see oh that was the other thing I, I need to also I'm going to fit my fuel pressure regulator just to, to make sure that I get my uh, my fuel pressure down to a, a more acceptable level and um, that's about it for now so um, all right guys um, thanks for watching uh, and uh, following through this uh, probably quite painful process but uh, instead of not putting it out I could not put this out and you know just ignore it and pretend it didn't happen but it's better to show the uh i think what works and what doesn't work and if we spend a day and don't really achieve much i think that still could potentially save some of you from spending the same day doing <laughs> this stupid thing so all right guys as always um please like subscribe uh follow us on patreon and uh we'll see you in the next one thanks guys